Kia ora I te iwi, o i ko roa. This is Eri Kai Tanifa Te Otome Ngeri, Tu Kai Tanifa Mauri. Um, I'm here with a beautiful goddess, Ruth. Um, we're just here at uh, Ngāpui, Te uh, Hauora o Ngāpui Festival today. Um, and it's about the ora, the, the hauora of the people. So we're going to ask the sis how she, um, what she thinks about this place. Uh, what's going down in this uh, festival today? We just want to get an honest thoughts and an opinion of what she thinks. What's going on? To me, Napui doesn't exist. Napui is a time that was stamped and it doesn't exist. We actually need to go back to Kupenuku, back to Tumana Nui Aukiwa. These are the things that tie us in together and if we're looking at home water, it's not your health. It's your well-being, it's your wairua, it's your tinana, it's your hingingaro. How do we keep all of those things clean and pure and in good health? Yeah, it's not just our physical. Yes. So I'm not sure if some of the stuff going on is actually about our wairua or our hingingaro or if it's actually about looking after our hauora or if it's looking after just our physical tinana so we can be better workhorses for that commercial dollar right. for those other businesses I'm not really about that I'm not really about the big business I'm more about the people and our, our everything our actual hauora and I'm not seeing our people's manoa taken care of I'm not seeing our three hearts or our three brains acknowledged and these sorts of things oh they're a little bit like TikTok to me Oh. They're just another something to keep you distracted and busy and not focusing on the bigger picture which is the collective. Us as people, our strength and our power is the collective. But you just want to pick a time and space like Ngāpuhi. So we're picking Rāhiri, are we? What about all the tūpuna before them and all the lines before them? Are we just discarding them because we feel Ngāpuhi is a stronger name? Maybe in warfare, but not on Hauora. A bit more important to me in Hauora, Hapu, I'll take those things over in Iwi. Iwi was just the lazy colonial way. We don't want to talk to all the people. We don't want to look after all the people. We just want to talk to three or four of you that will talk on behalf of everybody else. So that's where Iwi came out of. So I'm not really about that either, yeah? About Fano, Hapu. If you look at our Harakeke, you've got your Pepe, your Matua, your Matua fire on the other sides of them. I don't see no iwi, it's not taking care of anything, we're looking at the poo, Aye. the hapu, which brings us back to us, so yeah, I'm not really sure what your fellow's co is ah. either, but this is where I stand. And Kia ora my sis, that's beautiful, because Fano, we just met her, I just asked her off the side of the street, because that's how I roll, everybody knows how I roll, I'm um, uh, to Fano Kaitani for, and we believe about hapu. Um, we're the ones who stole the scriptures back because in the scripts they call the people of the Bible Hebrew but when I read it in the Pareo in the original scripture it says Hapu and the people of Apa, Apara were the children of the light and Maui wrote the Kawa and that Kawa went down to Rahiri and that Kawa pertains everything that really gives our Ra who our, our Ra is the aura within us our aura, light and, ka, and the last person to hold that kawa was Rahiri and everything the sis says is backs up what I'm saying we call that precept we call that weaving each other's aroha together because it's the truth and um, all praise to the Most High Power we believe in the Most High Power Yahawa Hawa that's our Father Hawaikinui Hawaikinua Hawaikipamama that's where we come from and our fathers left us kupu and that kupu was written down on paper and on skin and on stone and on wood for the whole world to know how to show aroha yama meaning how to show godliness to one another aroha is god and uh, aroha comes through the actions of man so does evil so we rather see aroha coming out of one another by being by kicking it with it with each other again talking to each other um we can heal each other with this knowledge that we have Every one of us has a little bit of the um, kitten. We put it all together. 
That is the true holy order. O Ikoro, as we believe in us, is Ikoro. Te Fareo Ikoro, of Aotearoa, the Great Milky Way. Each star is one of my people. When you see it look up, it represents one of us. And that's how bright we must shine in this dark air suppression that we're in. And it's beautiful seeing our wise women around our town. So we're going to go for a stroll, set up camp, and prophesize the downfall to this wicked ass nasty nation. And I hope our people hearken to our beautiful sister who spoke some wise, intelligent words coming straight from her wise healing idol because she's experienced it. Okay? And we can see with our own eyes. So, I want to give all praises to the Most High Power, Yahweh, Ha, Yahweh.